Okay, today we are going to be making a wet palette. Now, a wet palette is uh, something that's mainly used by um, war gamers and figure painters that use acrylic paints, which are fast drying paints. And um, all this is, is a pool of liquid really uh, on um, its kitchen roll and greaseproof paper with damp kitchen roll leaching through the greaseproof paper. And you can use your paints like Citadel paints, that sort of thing. And you can just put a dollop of it on here and it will stay moist and workable for a lot longer. So what we need is um, kitchen roll. Sorry, the lighting's a bit weird. It'll get better as soon as I put something in there. It's just, if you look, you know, we get quite a lot of reflection. So we'll be there in a second. So, um, I've got a couple pieces of kitchen roll, and that's just normal kitchen roll, as I say, and we just want to make it fit into this uh, Tupperware box that I'm using here. So, what we want to do is I just basically fold it so that it fits um, in kind of a half and a bit, I suppose, so it fits like that, and then just fold it down like that doesn't really matter you don't really want it going up the edges there so just a bit more like that so there that's the sort of thing um, and then with just a bit of tap water so we'll just make it wet hopefully the lighting situation is a bit better now so you can see that it's gone through one of the bits where it's not folded um, you could do two layers you can do one it doesn't really matter to be honest uh, from what I've uh, sort of seen um, I will, I've got a couple pieces that I used before, as we've actually gone through it. Um, you probably do want like two layers, so I'll just put another piece in there like that, where it was getting a bit thin down this way. All it really is is a barrier, it's just a place to hold water. That's what the kitchen paper's doing. It's um, a reservoir, that's all it is. So we're pretty good there, it's damp, not actually swimming in water. But, you know, you can see it is quite damp. Then we get our piece of kitchen roll, uh, greaseproof paper, which is rolling that way, so I'm going to put it in the other way. And then we just kind of plunk that down a little bit. And then just see how that um, starts to soak through. Is it enough water? You might need a little bit more. Now you can see the greaseproof paper is doing its thing. The water is beading up on it. Um, so you just kind of run it around and get it to trap back into the tissue paper. And it should be enough then just to start soaking up through. And it does seem to be. Yeah, that's that's how I like it. Like that. You, you want to be touching it and the tips of your fingers being wet and damp, but not actually too much water beading up. If you have too much, you can obviously wait until it kind of evaporates off. We just tap it down with a little bit of uh, paper towel, which will leach it off and then you're ready to go so that is how you make a uh, wet palette and this would last me uh, probably a couple days two or three sessions and i uh, use the lid and that keeps it all locked in you can actually have your paint on there um, and if you haven't used it or you've done your own mix and it's a particularly good mix when you actually put it back on top and clip it down uh, it will last for a day or two in there and still be workable so it's a good way of extending that so you don't have to do a uh, painting session all in one go so hopefully that's of use to you guys uh, you may have seen it you may not but as i say it's a wargamers thing so uh try it out and see how it works for you 